five. So I'd like to welcome Kyle, James, Patrick, Benny, and Sarah Vickers <laughs> around the corner and into the program. Uh, I've been so excited to meet and chat with uh, the two of you all about your business, all about your amazing social media following, uh, and congratulations on opening the store <laughs> Thank you. In, in Newport. So let's just talk a little bit about your business overall and talk to me just a little bit about the concept, how you were able to make this uh, into a reality. Okay. Uh, I mean, it really started off, I guess, as just when you're a little kid, you're told you can do anything you want, and you have a dream. And as you get older, you start to see the world for what it is. And you love the world, but it's not exact. I mean, the world to me wasn't exactly the way I was hoping it would be. So my grandpa told me a long time ago, um, if there's something that you see out there that doesn't exist, but you want it to exist, create it. So we kind of created our own little world. And our, the, the world we created through manufacturing and... Um, fashion and travel and pretty much encompasses everything that I mean the world really has to offer we create our own little world within that um, to kind of provide jobs and to provide um, fashion and clothing and every everything so it, it's pretty cool and so you've been featured in the New York Times you've been featured in town and country and it's all really this kind of like nautical New England theme um, kind of what has been your inspiration? Like, how did you guys dream this up? Oh, uh, <laughs> I'll let you go start okay. this. I mean, it started actually in high school. We were, I went to Bishop Hendrickin, and the uniforms was, you just had to wear pants, a pants sports coat, a sports <laughs> coat, a tie. Well, it had to be, yeah, it had to be like uh, khakis. So we started, my friends and I started going around to uh, grandparents' um, attics. We started going to the thrift stores. And we get plaid pants, striped blazers, loud ties, florals, like all kinds of crazy, crazy stuff. And we'd be selling it at the school. So soon enough, the school cracked down on the dress code. And we're like, you guys, everybody's walking around like it's Caddyshack because of Kyle <laughs> there. So that's when we start, awesome. started making products that kids could wear underneath their blue blazers to wear at school. I had met Sarah, and um, she was like, Kyle, everybody is asking, where, to ha where do you get these bracelets? Where do you get these belts? Where do you get the stuff that you had made in high school? And we started selling this stuff at little craft shows, and it, the rest was kind of history. Yeah, I don't think it was necessarily, like, it was definitely like we just took everything as it came and kind of evolved and learned how to grow with everything rapidly changing. Yes. So it's definitely been like this crazy ride the past 10 years, so. <laughs> Really has. Nice. So, and, and with the two of you, um, tell us a little bit about your relationship. Did did it come as a business relationship and more from that, or or <laughs> was it just like, hey, let, let's go for it together? I, I was shopping with my friend Nick, and she was shopping with her friend Andrea, and I said, that is the girl. That's the girl I saw a few weeks ago that I haven't been able to stop talking about to everyone. <laughs> and so he's fun. like, well, I know her friend, and she wants to go on a date, so we ended up going on a double date, and... Uh, our friends did not hit no. it off at all, oh. <laughs> and they, the, the date was cut short, actually. And I called her up immediately, and we've been inseparable since, and that's been for 15 years. 15 years. She's, yeah, awesome. she's the first, and she's the only girl I've ever dated, and married, <laughs> and, and, yeah. <laughs> and everything yeah. else. Yeah. That's amazing. Well, congratulations, and now you have so much to show for it, uh, <laughs> and, and can be and so exciting. Um, let's talk a little bit about your social media following, because... Uh, just the brand itself and and everything for it. Over 500,000 followers on Instagram, uh, 70,000 followers on Twitter. Just what is that like building that brand uh, and then having that interaction with, you know, friends that you don't really know, but know you and your right. life intimately and your brand intimately, right? Yes. I, I, be, I mean, I believe one of the important things was always being inspired. I mean, I've always been inspired by, I mean, the... It, Ralph Lauren or Clint Eastwood films or um, <laughs> Wes Anderson or, or whoever it is, the world inspires others. Why? I guess to inspire. So the most important thing to me through social media is I can capture a piece of my life and our life and my, like what's going on in Rhode Island and hopes to inspire people to, to love something inspire passion, inspire people to say, I really like what they're doing and I have a, something similar that I'm doing and I want to share it with the world. And when you share something with the world and you see how people 
also love it, it's really, that's when you get to bring your world to the world, and that, to me, is social media, is bringing something that is you to the world and seeing how it is received and seeing how they love it, and it makes you appreciate your passion. So the most important thing is just to inspire and to watch other people off of what you're, you've created, like Clint Eastwood, like Ralph Lauren. They started as kids, and now they've inspired all these other people on this world, which has been going on for centuries, and that's, that's a great feeling. And through social media, you can do it rapidly. You can just watch it happen, just like that, like magic in front of you. So I think social media is a very great tool if you're using it properly. Yeah. So yeah, seriously. don't sit there and just keep absorbing. Produce, create something, be inspired, and create. So it's cool. That, yeah, that's pretty neat. And, and pretty neat how you, you feel like it's an inspiring, motivating tool. What about you, Sarah? How do you feel about it? I agree with a lot of what he said. I mean, I think it, it's really nice to be able to interact with people, and it brings the world so much closer. So I feel like you're... I'm trying to say this, but like, what's the word for it? It's just weird how you can connect with people you wouldn't meet otherwise, or mm -hmm. like, randomly, and like, I posted up a picture, this is just a random story, but like, of a Draper James, it's Reese Witherspoon's brand's photo, and she actually wrote to me in direct message, which was my yeah, You're like, wow, uh, Reese Witherspoon <laughs> just is Just wrote messaging. to me, I mean, and, and that's where social media is just crazy, because you yeah. just don't know who's following along. You don't know who's commenting, and it opens you up to people and opportunities that I don't think would have ever been there otherwise. So that's absolutely incredible. Yeah, I mean, and then and then there's people like that who are um, embracing your products too. Have you had any like that? I mean, we've talked to people who like Nicole Romano, who's an amazing jewelry designer. Yeah, she's like, oh yeah, you know, I have uh, Jessica Simpson. Where's my jewelry? And you're like, what? You know, have you had anybody reach out to you like that who you've seen just through social media who has your product? For years. Yes. And it, yeah. it has to be pretty cool, yeah. right? It's, I mean, yes. It's such a compliment. It's always it's always we, exciting. We, we were literally on the top of, like, my parents' garage with our sewing machines. We had lobster pots in the back lawn. We were dyeing rope and twisting it and making all the products from scratch. And our business partner had called us and said, Tommy Hilfinger just called. He he's wants you to just accessorize all their models because he absolutely loves what you're doing. We're just like... Oh. I just had to sit down. It was just like, because I'm like trying to explain to this, my parents what happened. They're, I don't know if they believe me <laughs> until they like, see okay. us on all the billboards. But it was just, wow. and it's been, it's been a continuing. It's just one thing after the other with all the world when you're doing something right and other people recognize that. They recognize a little bit of themselves, I think, and what they have done in their past that's brought them success. And they want to share what you're doing because they see something similar in that. It's like, it's really nice. And we've had a lot of, a lot of luck um, see it with all the people in the world that have, have helped us spread our story. I guess that's the other thing too, is that if you're doing something amazing or you have a hit product or people love that picture you post out, it's like, and you instantly know what you're doing is right and you can keep working towards that end goal, whereas before I think it took a little longer for that flow of information. Yeah, definitely. So, I mean, it's changed the game in a lot of ways. Mm. So you guys both just mentioned when other people notice what you're doing right. What do you feel like you've done right? I think, I mean, between origin and original products, I think one of the things in fashion that I didn't love seeing was like you'd see a lot of the models that were in the photo shoots and they didn't really have anything to do with the brand. We've literally gone out there and taken Rhode Islanders and um, the people that are making the products and they've been in our marketing. Like they live and breathe the brand from making the products on a Monday to going out sailing and showing off the products on a Saturday. It's just really full circle. So I think that that's something has been connecting fashion from the actual craft to the function has been a pretty incredible thing that we've been able to introduce to the world of fashion that I haven't, I don't think I've really seen done well or at all. So people, that, so people could connect to it. It doesn't just look like some random body yeah, it's like, whoa, I know that guy. Like, that guy's actually making this stuff, which is pretty yeah. pretty cool to be able yeah, to like do that. that. And, I mean, our products from day one, we really strive for them to be well-crafted and original. So a lot of our products that we've come out with hadn't existed before. Yeah. So that's been, that's been huge for us. <laughs> so tell me about um, your first store. You've just opened this store, Newport, Bowen's Wharf. I'm an ex 
excellent place to be, right? Yes. Um, a, a lot of retailers are going from all online prod, or are going from having a brick and mortar to going just online, and you guys are going and opening up a store. Tell me a little bit about the decision to open a flagship store and what it's been like for you so far. Pretty exciting. The de- yeah, seriously. Decision, we were actually looking for a new office because we've been expanding uh, the brain. We were running out of space, basically. So the first store I had ever tried to get into was on Bowen's Wharf, and it's the store we're in now. That was 10 years ago. I had walked in there and tried to explain that bracelets were going to be very fashionable for men to wear. And um, the guy, ten years ago, the guy working, yeah, yeah, the guy working the store is like, I don't think the world's ready for bracelets on men yet, Kyle. <laughs> and I mean, sure enough, I mean, it took a lot of work, but it proved him wrong. <laughs> and so this past January, when we were searching for a store, I, we found out that this store actually had come available, and we we grabbed it like that. Cool. I mean, that had been my dream to open up the Kyle James Patrick flagship there since day one. And oh gosh, when that you should have heard me it's on the phone when I found out, I I was yeah I was jumping for joy. So it's really exciting because we can finally uh, Instagram. I mean, you get to see one little pirate doubloon of treasure. There's a whole treasure tre- chest. Kyle James Patrick. There's a whole treasure <laughs> chest of what's going on, and that story is going to be the treasure chest. You get to see the little things that you've been seeing going on on Instagram, and come in and just see everything. From the people who are manufacturing, to the parties, to the marketing photo shoots, to meeting us, to meeting our dog Benny, to seeing the products and us being able to tell the story of how these were produced. Like it gives us the opportunity to meet all these people that have been supporting our entire company since day one. I mean, our customers, like they're very loyal. Now they can come and hang out with us at our store in Newport. So we're so excited to have that opportunity to meet everybody and be there in person and yeah. really show them what we've done. So Plus just that vibe of Newport, that feeling. Yep. I mean, just, just good vibes, especially in the summertime now, people just walking in who may <sighs> have not known about you guys. I mean, good exposure, right? Great, Great, Great exposure. exposure. And yeah, and this first week has just been a testament to it. It's been incredibly successful. So we couldn't, I didn't know what to expect, but it's, it's far exceeded our expectations. That's huh. That's amazing. Yeah, it's, it's been nuts. Congratulations on that. <laughs> Thank you. Um, so, kind of fun, Rhode Island has produced so much creative talent over the years. Um, heard that you and another person, another guest that we had in studio, have you, all of you have some history together. So, uh, musician Johnny Gates was in studio <laughs> yeah. on Tuesday, and he played some great original new music that um, he's just released on his Untitled EP. So, he mentioned to me a couple things he want so I heard you guys all have some history together yes. he mentioned to me um, that he wanted me to ask you about Abercrombie oh. Krispy Kreme oh god uh, and Hendrickson so uh, just so why don't you guys tell yeah. me just a little bit about your guys' history so, how yeah. you guys know each other and then maybe you can talk yeah, about, I, about I, Krispy Kreme I don't know I think you're gonna have to leave Krispy Kreme out of this I'm leaving Krispy Kreme out. Oh, yeah. well, I, I, can, I can tie <laughs> Krispy Kreme in but uh, Sarah and her friends I'm gonna tell the truth I wasn't wearing Abercrombie. <laughs> Your let, friend. Let, let's go back. This this was back in 2002. This is, so. this is 2002. So. Abercrombie was very cool <laughs> at the time. So and Sarah, Sarah and her friends wanted a discount. They kept asking me to be one of the guys that stands out front with a shirt off and wave at everyone. So I did it. Didn't love it. Got them the <laughs> discount. And at the uh, Johnny went to school with me at Hendrickson, and. He also got a job. He was like, oh, Kyle's working there. So he got a job at Abercrombie with me. We had a lot of good times. I'm not even going to get into it. But it was, it was very, a lot of fun. Um, Something about your Jeep, right? What's that? You guys rode around in your Jeep. Yeah, we rode around in my Jeep all the time. So we were telling my parents and his parents, like, oh, you guys, if you're not going to do the college thing, you at least need to get, like, an associate's degree at a community college. So we signed up for that. We never went to class. We'd jump in my Jeep. We'd go to Krispy Kreme. We would go to Dunkin' Donuts. <laughs> Brood Awakenings, we'd find, find a different, like, we pretty much went to every single coffee joint in Rhode Island. That, that was, like, our hunt. And we'd sit down and just talk about our great dreams, what we wanted to do, what the plan was. And I never met someone else that had an exact plan of what he was going to do, how he was going to do it, and actually followed it. I mean, the, the kid is so, guy now, geez, because he's a little younger than me. Always thought of him as just a kid. But he's been so successful, and he's got that that little sparkle behind his eyes that's just like, I'm going to do it, and I'm going to also inspire the world to be great. And he has it in him. He's just, you can feel that presence in him. So he's, he's 
He's a dear friend. He really is. What else did he want me to talk about, Hendrickin? Uh, yeah, well, and, and you know what? And that, that was I think really, I covered it all. That's really nice of, of what you said. This is what he had to say about you. Uh -oh. um, I remember when he made his first bracelet, and to see where things progressed is so wild. He's always supported me following my dreams, and I've always looked up to him to following his. Wow. So that's pretty great. So congratulations to you guys from Hendrickin. Uh, Love you, Johnny. And Sarah <laughs> yeah, from yeah. Hendrickin as well. Oh, wait, did yeah. you go to Hendrickin? No. no. no sorry. Hendrickin's all boys. Oh, boys. Sorry, sorry, yeah. sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah, brain, yeah. Brain yeah, fart yeah. there. Yeah, um, yeah I, I, do, I know the Hendrickin. Yeah, I was a boy. Well. You're like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> Um, but doing great things, so congratulations to you. So that, that's kind of a, a kind of fun backstory there. We're glad that we could get um, get some some fun old stories from that. But uh, so you guys just opened the store in Newport, and you've already said things are going well, opportunities opening up. Just tell us a little bit about uh, the future of the brand. What's coming next for you? Well, we've got. I mean, we've got some pretty big news. We're having. Our first child. <laughs> oh my gosh! Congratulations! Yay. Yeah, so that's amazing. That's pretty big. That's like probably the, the coolest thing that we've ever created. Yes. <laughs> I'm really excited. Oh, for that. that's awesome! <laughs> so, oh, congrats! That, yeah. So, yeah, really excited about that. And with, <laughs> and as far as the brand goes, I mean, I just we're always gonna just probably have our cameras with us wherever we go, and oh, if a cool moment to take a great picture comes up, we will. Um, I really want to inspire other brands when we get our manufacturing, our American, yeah, God bless you. You. Thank you, our American manufacturing down. I would like to invite others to join us. I would really like, I would really like that. I would like to be able to help a lot of the other um, brands that have, we've worked so closely together with in the industry and say, hey, like you don't have to manufacture in China anymore. We have some options here. So I think that'd be really cool to bring and bring hopefully some more jobs back here to Rhode Island. So. Totally. Um, so, with a baby coming, does that mean baby products? <laughs> yes. Well, you know, we didn't think... Well, <laughs> I, when, when Benny came, yeah. dog products. Well, and it, so, it, I think it would be... It's one of those things, again, like Grandpa said, when something that you want to exist doesn't, you create it. So, I'm sure there's going to be a lot of cute little sweaters that we're, that we're not going to be able to find that we're going to want our baby in. So and there's it. Yeah, exactly. I've been collecting little tiny baby clothes, like we both have when we're shopping or going through thrift stores or anything in our past. So I'd love to recreate some of these little pieces that we've seen from, that were American made back in like the 50s and 60s. So, and offered that to other people for their kids. That's so, so we'll see, I don't know. That's so exciting. That's yeah. the best news that anybody yeah. could share. So yeah, yeah. I was so excited for you yeah. both. Thank Congratulations. You. Thank you. Benny, you're gonna be a big sister. Okay, so, and Benny was our surprise guest. Can we get Benny, Benny on, camera, on camera Come on. for us? How about you can hold her up. And, and how often is Benny the star of the show? Oh, Benny's always the star. I think basis. people like her more than they like us. <laughs> She's hey, gorgeous. Benny. You're about a year old. Oh, one year. Yep. Oh, Benny, you're going to be the best big sister ever. Yeah, yeah, you are. That's amazing. She loves kids. Well, congratulations to all three of you. I'm very excited <laughs> for, for all the work that's happening. Um, and we're so excited for you. We're excited to hear where things are going, and you'll have to keep in touch and, and let us know everything that's happening. Yeah, we will. Right? Absolutely. Thank you for having us on the show. Yeah, this has been so fun to chat with you, um, and to continue to, to keep us updated. Can't wait to next time I'm in Newport to come stop yeah, by. Yeah, stop by. Definitely. That'll be fun. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Uh, so before you all go, we have to take a picture, right? Great. See if we can get Benny. Benny. Can get Benny yeah. in here? Yeah, I'll get my. Okay. Yeah. Your arms are much longer than mine. Yeah, come over here.